Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. Whippy! Before we get started here, if you happen to live across the pond, even though I got an English flag there, I actually live in America. If you live over in uh, England or UK, I'm going to be coming in April to Manchester. So uh, you can go to the events section on my uh, silvertunes.com listed below. And um, if you're interested, pick up a ticket and I'll see you there for two days of mad drawing. All right. So today, I, what I wanted to talk about was a phone call that's coming through. Um, no, what I wanted to talk about, I'm, oh man, I gotta get that. Okay, um, what I want to talk about is character design, but my advice to all character designers out there who wish to have a thriving uh, career as, as a character designer, okay? There's there's a big misconception. I don't know why it started, what why it's even out there, but I'm coming across it over and over and over again. And I want character designers to work. And I think if you're a good character designer, there's no reason why you shouldn't have work in today's climate with what's going on. And again, I've mentioned it before, but you got from Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, all these people are starting their own divisions, their own animation divisions. It's it's like content is key, mobile apps, all these other areas, they just, it's thriving, okay? But I'll tell you one area that all these character designers want to get into, which in all honesty, isn't necessarily thriving as much, and that is feature animation character design, okay? And the reason I'm bringing this up is because the majority of people I talk to, and I talk to a lot of people all the time through my Skype uh, mentorships that I do from students, from places that I'm going. And the one question, whenever you're going to be at a convention or you're trying to find work, people are always gonna ask you, what do you wanna do? What do you wanna be? Well, I wanna be a character designer for feature animation. Over and over again, everyone wants to be a character designer for feature animation. My advice to you is you're kind of barking up the wrong tree. And let me just kind of explain this, okay? Feature animation, you got to realize how many actual features are coming out every year from the studios. Not that many. When you put it into a hold, the amount of um, commercials with animated characters that are needed and being done, the amount of... Uh, video games that are being produced constantly, yearly, every year coming out, mobile app games, new things being developed, the television animation side, okay? And I'm talking about, when I say that, I'm talking about Amazon and Hulu and Netflix and everyone, television, okay? Um, web, you know, doing development for web as the web's, of course, getting bigger and broader and people are just having shows specifically on the web. It is a massive, massive market, yet people are so consumed about sometimes being a, a feature character designer. The reality is, again, the amount of shows that are done, and there's only about two in-house character designers, if that, per feature, and then they're freelancing people, of course, but a lot of these guys who they're freelancing, it's been the same guys over and over for the last 15, 20 years almost, you know? It's, it's almost like you gotta wait in line until that doctor or that judge is old enough to where they can't function anymore and now they have to be replaced. And that's almost what goes on on the feature side. Whereas TV, when I say, again, the broadness of TV, it's constant turnover. So my, my real advice is, if you want to work as a character designer and sort of and not just be on in the waiting line, 
you got to start thinking about that whole other side and not just get so focused on the feature animation side, okay? You can't have that dream. I'm never going to stop you from, hey, if that's what you want to do and you want to set up a section in your portfolio that is geared towards feature, oh, absolutely have it. Show it. Showcase it. Just absolutely don't not have that sort of skill set in your portfolio, but the reality is don't just be so close-minded that you're just going for feature character design because you're going to be waiting in the bread line, okay? And it's going to be very hard for you to break into that. Again, nothing's impossible just because things are difficult. doesn't make it impossible. But again, having that mindset of building up towards the whole other area. And this is just a very important um, thing because, and I, and I say it and I'm feeling very passionate about it right now just because the amount of people that always tell me, I'm asking, what do you want to do? I want to be a feature and a character designer. And they'll just try to apply for the feature animation and then they get rejected. Otherwise, um, you know, it's just not, it's just not the most ideal path if you want longevity. And that's what we want. That's the reality. What, what do we want? We want to be able to love what we do. We want to be able to just draw what we want to draw and draw on the things that we find just a lot of interest towards and we want to get paid for it. We want to have, um, we, we want validation. You know, we want to just be sort of seen and heard and, and know that our artwork is meaningful and means something to someone and they find value in it and this is why they want to hire us because we got the sort of skill set that they need and Hey, great, and I can make a living at this. Um, so that, you know, that's what I just kind of really wanted to, to say today. Don't get just too caught up in this feature side, okay? It's going to be that that road's going to get long. It's going to be more of a struggle. Think broad. Know, like I talked a few weeks ago, it's just like, um, just know your business. Know what it is you're getting into. And this is all about the planning phase. This is about just sort of knowing that this is what I want to do. Nothing's going right today. I got my phone. I got my, my heater going on in here. Um, but yeah, it's about, again, knowing what it is you want to do and moving towards that direction and building up an effective portfolio that lends itself. Now, every production is going to be different, but they all have the same needs. No matter what you're doing, whether you're working for a feature, whether you're working for TV studio as a character designer, it's all the same needs. Some, some shows require more than others. If you're working on, say, like a, um, a TV series that's more CG based, well, you don't necessarily have to do all the mouth charts per se. That may not be necessary. You may not need to do um, an attitude sheet, but you're going to need to be doing the designs and then it gets built. Give the modeler enough information to build it. Usually you're doing the T-pose, but you want to show those turnarounds in your portfolio and just show that production side and show your the, the versatility. And that's the main thing is variety is what's going to give you the longevity too. If you're just doing one style of work in your portfolio, that's detrimental because that's what you're going to be judged on. People are going to be looking at your work and saying, that's just not what we want. It's comparing um, if all of a sudden you have tons of avocados and apples and peaches in your portfolio, but maybe you only have those three things, but you don't have any, uh, I don't know, uh, what, did, what didn't I say, uh, bananas or something in your portfolio, then uh, I don't know if he can do it. And that's what people are always looking for. So just keep in mind overall, if this is something you're serious about, you really want to be a character designer, don't limit yourself to just wanting to do feature. You're going to be waiting in line to try to break through that again. It has happened. People have broken through, but very, very small percentage compared to uh, everyone else's out there. And again, start thinking about what's the reason? Why do you want to work for feature? Is it just so that you can have uh, bragging rights? Is that what you think it's going to do for you? That you can say, oh, I worked on this feature film. The reality is most people don't remember a lot of feature films. You know what they remember? They remember the games they played. They remember the TV shows they watched. And if that's why you're doing this for notoriety, well... Try not to make it be the reason you're doing this. I think the reason you got to do this is because you want to make a living as an artist uh, and this you want the longevity as an artist 
and there's no better rewarding thing to be able to have that. So don't, don't do it for the wrong reasons, but make sure you're trying to get into this for the right reasons. For pure enjoyment, in all honesty, this is what you wanna do, it's fun. And if you find yourself loving drawing people and animals, well maybe character design is the right place for you, but also think about all the other avenues that you could take this into as being um, just a, an illustrator for, for books, magazines, spot illustration, uh, periodic things that you want to get yourself into, brand building for yourself, for other people. Uh, again, you want to, you're getting into this for longevity. Not, it's not, it's not temporary. You don't want just that. You don't just want that one little job that's going to last for two years and then you're going to be out on the streets, so to speak. You want to maintain that. So my, what I want to tell you, final thoughts, Really think about this. You don't just want to be a feature designer. It's very limited. There's very few positions in that. Think big, think broad, and that's it. Again, thanks for watching. If you guys are interested in Ever Meeting 101 through Skype, my Skype mentorship, just go to silvertoons.com. Check out the classes that I offer there and keep an eye out for the workshops that I'm doing coming up um, in your city. Thanks again for watching. I wish you guys all the best. Take care.